so just a bit of a background on Campify. So um, as Anthony mentioned, we're a little bit like Airbnb, but for caravans, camper vans, motorhomes. So we're on a, on a mission to be able to provide everyone uh, a distributed network of vehicles on demand when they want to use them uh, in all the different countries we operate in. So we're currently, uh, uh, this is a bit of a, give you an overview of what we do. So we provide and make it really simple for both parties to connect. We provide the platform, provide roadside assistance, uh, we take and collect all the money and the bonds, we provide the contracts, uh, the insurance, uh, then we click the ticket along the way. So we, we basically, without us, our customers can't transact and we make it really simple and easy for those two parties to actually do something together. Uh, so uh, just a couple of months ago in, in December, we completed a, a, our second acquisition. We did one uh, about 18 months ago in New Zealand and we just did another recent one uh, of a company called Paul Camper. Terrible name, I know. Um, Paul Camper is the largest operator uh, of RV uh, market, rental marketplaces in uh, Europe. So Camplify now uh, operates those two brands uh, in, in across all these countries. So Australia, UK, New Zealand, Spain, Germany, Netherlands, and Austria. And so that's set us up with the ability to not only continue the growth that we've been on in these markets uh, here uh, in, in overseas markets as well, but also now the biggest uh, centralization in in Europe and the ability to continue our expansion into other European countries. So we now operate a number of brands. Uh, the brand you see over here uh, on uh, my left, MyWay, uh, is our upcoming insurance brand that we're uh, working on la launching pretty soon. Uh, we just recently did a capital raise to be able to launch that as a managing general agency globally. That will allow our customers to be able to have a insurance product backing and it will also allow us to expand uh, quite rapidly in other countries with a fully integrated solution from a platform and insurance perspective. So uh, insurance is a really key part of what we do and it allows us to be able to insure both the owner and the hirer uh, on that uh, transaction. So you know, people choose us because we have this enormous distributed network of lots and lots of different types of vehicles uh, across lots of different geographies for, uh, you know, generally speaking, a cheaper price than what the competitors like uh, Tourism Holdings Limited or Apollo will provide in market. So uh, we provide usually a much better experience, uh, a better quality vehicle at a lower price with uh, a lot more distribution. And that allows us to focus on various different markets, including a lot in particular in Australia, the domestic market. Uh, these are some examples of customers that uh, this uh, fleet on our vehicle, on our platform. Uh, they built primarily their own vehicles uh, and then listed them and renting them out through us. So we enable those customers to get up and running with a vehicle and take their first bookings. I think the record is about four minutes from the time that they listed to be able to actually take their first booking. So we've got a really fast enablement uh, platform that gets these people going. And as the more they engage, the more they rent their vehicles, the more they buy more vehicles, list through our platform, uh, and we have, generally speaking, exclusive arrangement with those customers to be able to use our platform as their rental uh, platform. Uh, so I'll just give you a bit of background on uh, our numbers in the most recent update. Um, I've been told we're the fastest growing company on the ASX. I don't know whether that's actually true, but an analyst told me that. So um, in the last six months, uh, we grew our total transactions by uh, over 100%. Um, we've been growing at a CAGR rate of uh, roughly about 85% for the last five years. Um, we're continuing to see really strong demand in all the markets that, that we operate in, and our revenue also reflects that. So we've grown revenue at 83%, uh, our total bookings at 62%, and our average booking value has gone up from this time last year. We're at about 11.50 to now 17.99. So that's been driven by a couple of different factors, but. Uh, at the end of the day, it means a bigger clip of the ticket to Camplify. So we're growing our revenue quite significantly as we see this demand coming for this type of uh, holiday experience in all the different markets we have. Important to note that uh, these numbers actually only include one month of Paul Camper uh, uh, operations. So we completed them in December. Uh, Paul Camper, as I mentioned, is the biggest in Europe. So they're, they're basically almost the same size as Camplify. So as we start to see some of their numbers come through, uh, that will dramatically increase the overall position of the company as well. 
Uh, so looking at our take rates, our take rate is one of the highest of marketplaces um, around, certainly the highest of any marketplace listed on the ASX. Um, currently sits at uh, 26.91. Uh, last, this time last year we were at about 29%, so we saw, we've seen a slight decrease simply because of uh, the poor camper acquisitions. They charge their customers at a different rate, they charge about 18%. Uh, and we see a lot of scope for us to be able to introduce a lot of the other products that we have uh, into that market in Europe uh, and build their take rate up over time. So that'll have a, a really solid impact on their revenue. <coughs> uh, our retained hirers, uh, most importantly uh, in Australia. Uh, Australia is a really strong domestic market for us. Uh, some of the other markets are more internationally inbound tourist focused, but in Australia we have 27% uh, or roughly about a third of customers uh, actually rebooking, and so they're coming back from their holiday, booking the next holiday, staying engaged on the platform and you know, continuing to book more and more trips with us. Uh, we now have over 24,000 vehicles on our platform uh, and that's been growing you know, quite significantly over the last couple of years uh, with a total customer uh, database of uh, now well over 360,000. Uh, so I'll just touch on this slide for a second and, and explain to you why we've seen such a growth in our booking value. So what we're seeing is that uh, we're seeing a return to pre-COVID numbers in terms of people actually booking longer holidays. So we saw during uh, post-COVID lockdown periods that people were booking much shorter holidays, so on average booking less than eight days per trip, uh, whereas pre-COVID we saw customers booking uh, closer to 10 days. Uh, now we're actually seeing customers booking over 10 days. So they're booking 10.5 days and that's climbing. So customers booking longer trips with us in lots of different markets that we operate in. And as well as that, we're seeing an increase uh, per day of the rate that our customers are charging to rent their vehicles out. So uh, we, we started out this time last year, we were at uh, about $140 a day. Now we're at uh, $172 a day. So that's a mix of different type of uh, fleet on the platform, newer vehicles uh, and in different markets. So that, those two things combined with those additional prices that we're seeing per day, as well as longer trips, has seen a significant impact on our on global average booking value. A, a lot of that's been led by New Zealand. So uh, we made an acquisition in New Zealand about eight months ago. Uh, we're now the leading operator, actually the only operator in the New Zealand market in this, this field. Uh, and so what we're seeing is that as that market's opened up and people are starting to go back from an international inbound perspective, that the demand of that market is quite significant. It's a really high value market. Uh, it has on average around about $2,400 per day as an average booking value. Uh, around about 70% of inbound customers into the New Zealand market actually do a road trip. So it's a very popular destination for camper vans, caravans. Uh, you're probably all aware of THL, who's the biggest operator in that market. They've recently acquired Apollo Tourism and Leisure uh, as part of a merger. And now the two combined, uh, who also own 20% of us, um, are sort of the leading operator in that market from a, a fleet perspective. But everyone in that market has dramatically sold down fleet. So they no longer have the fleet size they used to have. And as such, a lot of these bookings are coming to us um, through this market as we continue to grow quite significantly. Uh, I'll just touch on this slide. So um, this is a great indication of our, what we're seeing from a consumer confidence perspective. So this time last year, uh, we had future bookings values. That's bookings that customers have paid for but haven't yet actually taken uh, of 8.4 million. Uh, we closed out the half with future booking values of uh, 31.2 million. So we've had a dramatic increase in future bookings. Generally speaking, they'll take place in the next 12 months. Uh, so you can see that we're, we're really a company that's dramatically accelerating based on consumer demand uh, in every market that we're operating in.